Welcome to Cooking with Aramark. My name is Duran Garner. I'm the general manager of the Aramark Food Service Program. I want to really thank you for joining us today. Uh, we're going to go into a brief culinary demonstration of a few dishes. Come on, join us in the kitchen. So Casey, Emily, what do you guys have here for us? Well, today we're going to be making our tortellini salad. We have a three cheese tortellini here, roasted red pepper, minced garlic, mushrooms, Parmesan cheese, your basic vinaigrette and spinach. We're gonna start off by sauteing our garlic, our mushroom, and our spinach together over on the grill. So here we are, we're gonna start by sauteing our, our spinach and our mushrooms on the grill, along with our um, garlic. And so we have our garlic here. And it's just a quick saute method, just to get it sweated out. So what other type of vegetables can you do with this oh, preparation? You can do plenty of vegetables. You can do onions and green pepper, whatever taste that your palate prefers. So if I don't like mushrooms, you're saying I can use asparagus, green beans, anything absolutely, like that for this kind of a dish. It smells good. It, it's geared towards a summer salad. It's really good for picnics because it's not mayonnaise based. Okay. So you use your oil and vinegar and it's able to uh, sit out without having to be refrigerated. Now how long do you cook the vegetables? Just until they're just al dente they're, or until they're really done? Until they start to sweat and okay. they um, release a, a, an aroma. Okay. So it only takes about two or three minutes. Okay. And just put it on the bowl. you have your vegetables all sauteed you want to start by assembling your salad and we can go ahead and start with the tortellini we'll mix that in the bowl also with the roasted red pepper your sauteed veggies your mushroom and your spinach this looks really nice and your vinaigrette and your vinaigrette recipe is just your basic uh, two to one ratio, two parts oil, one part vinegar, and season with salt and pepper to taste. And your shredded Parmesan cheese. And mix. And for best results, you can let it sit in the refrigerator for about 20 to 30 minutes so all the flavors marry together and serve cold. And here you have tortellini pasta salad. Can you tell us a little bit about the services Aramark provides to Camden School District? That is a very, very good question, Shoshana. Um, as the GM in this district, it's my job to make sure that we maintain our level of commitment to the district and our partnership to the Camden School District is very, very important to me and our entire team. So some of the things that we provide right now currently are breakfast, lunch, the after school snack program, supper program. We do all the vending in the district. We also do catering. The only thing that we really don't do right now for the district is concessions. And we've been in some talks to try to enter that realm as well. We're really excited about that opportunity if it presents itself. But right now, currently, those are all the services that we currently provide to the school district. But looking to take advantage of more opportunities as they pre present themselves. Wonderful. And what is the breakfast program? So the breakfast pro program right now is universally free for all students. So essentially, in every school, every day, breakfast starts anywhere as early as 7.30 and it ends as late as 9 o'clock, depending on the school. It's site specific. It's based on what the principal wants to negotiate and how they want to facilitate the program within their school. So right now, basically, our staff comes in. We provi provide the breakfast. The students come through our line. They get a healthy, nutritious breakfast, and then they go to their classroom. Right now, that's the way it's currently constructed. The breakfast program is universally free free for everyone. We have multiple options available every single day. Um, we, our breakfast program has grown a lot with the, um, with the district's ability to allow us to administer a universal free breakfast program and a breakfast in the classroom program that we uh, in introduced this year to the school district. 
Oh, wow, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And are there any other services Aramark provides in support of the community? Yeah, so, I mean, you know, providing services to the, to the community is one of our biggest pillars within our program. Um, again, we're in a privileged position to be here, so we want to take advantage to support the school district and support the community at large. So some of the things that we've done in the past, we have a student scholarship program. We give out five to $10,000 every year in student scholarships for those students interested in pursuing uh, further education in culinary arts. We have a student intern program where every year we approximately hire about four or five students every single year. Um, out of the program, we've been doing that for four years, we have about four or five students that are now full-time permanent workers with us through that program. Um, we provide um, funding for the South Jersey Food Bank to support families in need with, around the city. We also donate money to, the, uh, to South Jersey Hunger Stock. Uh, we've donated uh, funds to the Special Olympics. We do a multiple array of things. And, uh, if anyone's interested in participating in that, just reach out to me directly and I'll see what we can do for you. Uh, my, my contact information is uh, Garner, G-A-R-N-E-R -E hyphen Duran, D-A-R-A-N-D, at Aramark.com. Thank you very much. You got Wonderful. it. So Lou, Aldi, what do you guys got for us? What did you prepare? What we're doing today is a grilled portobello mushroom panini. Okay. Uh, the ingredients for that is Lou. What we're going to do today, we're going to have the grilled portobello mushrooms going over on the grill. We have our diced tomatoes, diced onions. We're going to use a provolone cheese today on a sourdough bread. Then we're going to top everything off with a nice arugula salad. So let's go to the grill and start assembling this, this great sandwich. Okay, we're gonna begin to uh, fry our onions. <clears throat> While the onions are, are going, um, I would like to start by grilling our mushrooms. This is a really good sa uh, sandwich. You can actually do this in, on the grill outside. You will just roast your onions in the oven inside and the, the grill, grill mushroom, you can put it with a little bit of oil right on the grill. So while all these preparing grilling over the portobellos, Lou, let's get started making the, uh, the salad. This is gonna be a very basic salad that's gonna go on top of our sandwich. What we're gonna do is we have our arugula right here. So Lou, talk to me about your, uh, your vegetable choice. Why are you using arugula? We're using arugula. It's a nice change up from our normal pace of the of romaine or any other kind of lettuce. It gives us a nice crisp bite to it. And we're gonna be doing that when we mix in some of our ingredients we're gonna to top our sandwich with it. It's gonna come out really nice. We're just gonna throw in some of this balsamic glaze. So what exactly is balsamic glaze? Balsamic glaze is a regular balsamic that's been reduced down with a little sugar added to it. You can find this in your any one of our local stores and it would be somewhere around the dressing aisle. And what is the balsamic glaze for? For some acidity? The balsamic glaze is definitely going to give it a little bit of acidity okay. and it's a little bit thicker than your normal balsamic. Okay. It's actually cooked down a little bit further. We're going to add in a little bit of the extra virgin olive oil and then some tomatoes. We don't have to do anything real crazy because a lot of the flavor is going to come out of the portobello mushrooms itself. So here we have our basic salad that's going to top off our grilled portobello sandwich. Now that the mushrooms and the onions have been cooked, we can uh, start assembling the sandwich by grilling our bread. <clears throat> we got a nice uh, sourdough bread here. We're going to top it off with some provolone cheese. While the bread is being grilled, we can start topping off our portobello mushroom. First we have our fried onions. <clears throat> we put on some of our rusty red peppers. And I'd like to top it off with another slice of cheese so that it holds everything together. Lou, could you hand me the arugula salad, please? Here you go, Ali. Thank you. Top it 
top it off with some fresh arugula salad to close up our sandwich. And cut it in half. And there you have it. Roasted grilled portobello mushroom sa uh, sandwich. Does the local Airmark team conduct surveys? Yes, one of the exciting things that we are doing this year is student focus groups. Um, within the school district, um, we try to do or conduct student focus groups um, for three to four schools within a month. Um, one of the exciting things that we definitely um, try to do is listen to our students and um, so they can voice their opinions about the food that we serve because that those are students are our customers. Um, Oh, okay, yeah. please. It's, it's, it's very important for us to solicit that feedback from the students and show the students that we really value their feedback. We want to use that feedback to continue to drive the program. So to, to Emily's point, you know, our emphasis with student focus groups is very, very important. It's something that we continue to do um, year after year, month after month with our students. Please, can you share with us some student responses to the surveys? Um, yes, some of the compiled information that we received from our elementary and our high school levels um, was very impactful. Um, the type of items that they prefer on the menu is our popular chicken nuggets that we provide. Also our chicken patties, our pizzas, our chicken and biscuits that we serve in our high schools. Um, some of the things that they're looking for us to offer um, coming into the next year um, is also maybe pizza sticks, um, mozzarella sticks, also quesadillas, um, some new things that we are trying to introduce within the district. Yeah, I mean, for the most part, you know, students are students, right? So they like pizza and burgers and chicken patties and all those great, fantastic things. And we're going to continue to build on those and offer a more higher quality product to our students this upcoming year. But we're going to stay consistent with the, the core menu that we provide and make sure we have the ability to satisfy satisfy um, our student core base. Wow, so what were some of the favorite foods? Um, one of the favorite foods is actually our salad bar. Um, a lot of people don't imagine students and young people eating salads and trying to eat more healthy. So um, we implement, implemented our salad bar and also our, sandwich, our cold sandwiches. Very nutritious. How about least favorite food? Um, the least favorite foods would be pizza sticks, um, but for the most part, um, part most of the students really enjoy our food. And when we say pizza sticks, it's like a bread stick stuffed with mozzarella cheese with a mozz with a marinara dipping sauce. It's one of the least favorite. Not saying that students don't enjoy it, but on a serve for the survey purposes, that was the least selected item on our survey. So, from the feedback you received, uh, what changes do you anticipate making? Uh, well, some of the changes that we would like to implement for the upcoming school year um, is our menu identifiers. I think our students and our customers would like to see exactly what's going to be on the menu prior to them um, getting in line um, and getting their meal. Also, some of the um, marketing promotional ideas that we're trying to do is menu, theme menus throughout the month, um, something that we can educate our students about different types of ingredients that we put in our food, um, something um, surrounding a certain holiday. Um, that we can get the students really excited about. Yeah, holiday theme meals are very important. In the past couple years, we've never really strategically planned like a Thanksgiving meal or a Halloween meal or a Christmas meal, different things like that. So this year, we want to make sure we strategize to provide holiday meals for our student core base. These are wonderful ideals. Uh, if a parent has questions or concerns, who could they contact? Well, parents, um, if they have a concern or if they would like to contact us, our, our offices is located at Wiggins Elementary School, which is located at 400 Mount Vernon Street. It is my turn. What I have prepared for you guys today, I have a teriyaki glazed salmon dish. It's a very, very simple dish, very, very easy to make, very, very e easy to source, and it's very, very good. It's very, very simple. I just got a a local bag of some vegetable stir fry, which consists of some broccoli, snow peas, carrots, uh, shredded cabbage. We have some salmon. I have it marinated in three different ways. We have mesquite, we have Cajun, we have garlic and herb, some simple teriyaki sauce with a little bit of Parmesan grated cheese. 
I'm going to take it over to the grill and I'll get started on how we, how we prepare the dish. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to basically take our vegetables, we're going to get them on our grill. You can cook this preparation in many different ways. You can do this on a grill, you can do it on a stove, you can do it however you do. Me, I'm the creative type, so I get busy. This is what I do. Okay, this is my home right here. So once you put your vegetables on for a little bit, you want to spread them out a little bit. You want to cook your vegetables to taste. I mean, I like mine's very al dente, sort of how you would get in a Chinese store. I don't like my vegetables very mushy, so I'm going to let them go for about, you know, five to six or seven minutes on the grill in that form of a preparation. From there, I go and I grab my, my pieces of salmon. I have the mesquite, I have the garlic, and I have the Cajun. I'm going to put a little bit of oil down on my grill. I'm going to go face down. Now with this type of a dish, you're not limited to just using salmon. You can use cod, flounder, tilapia. You can use a bunch of different variations of different things. But salmon is just one of my favorite. And with these type of dishes, salmon takes the teriyaki and things like that very, very well. You want to sit and let this rock out for about five to 10 minutes. And then in five to 10 minutes, you'll come back and you'll start your plate assembly. Okay, so at this point now, our vegetables have been going and cooking for about five to 10 minutes. We turned our salmon. We have a nice little caramelized grill uh, surface on our salmon right here. Me personally, I don't like my fish overcooked. So what I like to do is I like to have a little bit of that tenderness within the middle. Now I think it's time to add our teriyaki sauce. Just a little bit because this can have a decent amount of sodium so you don't want to kill yourself. You add a little bit of teriyaki to your salmon. If you notice, I didn't use any salt because teriyaki has a decent amount, like I said, of sodium in it. You do a final toss of your vegetables. If you were here smelling this, you would feel how I feel right now, but you're not. So you just have to go over the recipe. We have some nice vegetables. Salmon ready to go. It's time for us to plate. One salmon, two salmon, three salmon. These are the moments where I say, Mama, I made it. I want to get cute. I'm going to finish it and top it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. And you have a teriyaki grilled salmon dish with some summer saute. This is what we do. For someone interested in catered services, uh, what can Aramark provide? We provide breakfast, lunch, and dinner, continental and hot breakfast, hot and cold lunch, dinners. Um, we also do weekend catering. We do tea parties. We do um, beverage services. Um, Dessert parties, cake specials, party platters. We do an array of different things. So, I mean, anything essentially you're looking for, we're your one-stop shop. We can provide it. Great. And how can someone take advantage of this? They would contact me and we need to do a quote. And you take the quote along with a requisition to the business office to get a purchase order number. And keep in mind, without a purchase order no number, we cannot provide catering services. Yeah, we've been given direction by the school district not to administer any caterings without a board approved um, requisition and purchase order. So once you um, get that purchase order number from the business office, at that point we can execute any and all events. Do you offer catering services to the public or only the school district? We do internal and external catering. Um, you would, if you're doing external catering, you would need to pay by cash or check. What would be the contact information? You would contact Geraldine Holloway and it, it, the email is Holloway, H-O-L-L-O-W-A-Y dash Geraldine, G-E-R-A-L-D-I-N-E at airmark.com. Aldi and Lou, I'm hungry. What do, you, what do you guys got for us? What's going on? 
today we're going to be making the capellini pomodoro. Aldi's going to go over some of the ingredients we're going to be using today. So for this dish, we're going to be using angel hair pasta. We're going to use some um, uh, diced garlic, diced onions, uh, plum tomatoes or Roma tomatoes. We're going to finish it off with some uh, shredded Parmesan cheese, parsley, basil, uh, olive oil. We have balsamic glaze and a little bit of salt. Uh, we have some water boiling right now. Lou, why don't you uh, drop the pasta in there? While Lou is doing that, I'm going to just finish uh, chopping up all the vegetables. Lou, why, while you're doing that, why do we pick Roma tomatoes as opposed to a regular tomato? We went with the, with the Roma tomato because it has a little bit more skin to it than a normal tomato does. You always want to try and use a smaller tomato. Something either something like this or you can also do a grape tomato or a cherry tomato. Those would be perfect for a dish like this. Tomatoes are all chopped up. Would you like to start preheating the pan? Put some olive oil in there? So you basically let, let in the pan get hot and you want the oil to just about start smoking. And that's when he's gonna start dropping off the onions and the minced garlic. That seems about hot. All right, now that we have our onion sauteed down a little bit, we're gonna be adding our garlic and the rest of our ingredients. This is where the fun happens. We can start adding all of the rest of our ingredients. Now you can do this with a lot of different things. Uh, today we'll be doing with basil, tomatoes, make it like a nice fresh sauce, but you can really do this with a lot of different things. Anything you have in the house. Add some tomatoes. Add some basil. Basil gives us a nice, great flavor. Add some parsley. We're gonna add a little bit more oil to this. We're gonna make sure everything cooks up nice. I'm gonna mix it around a little bit before I add the rest of the parsley. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of the balsamic glaze to it. So while you finish that up, let me just go and drain the pasta. All right, just to finish everything off, we're gonna to top it with some balsamic glaze. We're gonna mix that in. What you wanna do with the balsamic glaze is just add very little bit. You just wanna get some taste. Just enough to give it some nice flavor. We'll just mix this around, and then we're gonna add in our pasta. Top it off with some shredded Parmesan cheese. And that's all she wrote. From Aldi and Lou, Bon, bon appetito. appetito! What is the dinner program? Uh, the dinner program is a program that uh, started here in January mm -hmm. and it's a program from the Child and Adult Care Food Program. Uh, we have six school groups that we started it in and the program is available to all students in the district. Uh, it's a free program. You just have to go to your, your child's school and see about the after school programs that they're going to participate in or sign them up for them and they are eligible for to eat the dinner program. Yeah, the most important part of the after school program is you have to register your student for an after school enrichment program. Any child that's registered for an after-school enrichment program qualifies for a universal free supper meal. So that's 
you know, in essence, what the dinner program is. It's a supper meal provided to all students enrolled in after school enrichment programs. And what is the status of the program right now in the district? Uh, right now, we started the program out in six schools. Uh, the first schools were Hatch, Camden High, Cato, uh, Dudley, H.B. Wilson, and Wiggins. Uh, we encountered some issues with the high school program, so we had to pull that program out, but we extended it to Vets School. Yeah, there were some challenges with the high school model. Um, the high school after school programs operate differently than the elementary and middle school and family school models. So we have to perfect our process at the high school before we re revisit it. So what we did, we just added vets on to the program and we're just going to go back to uh, Camden High at a later date once we figure out the model that we want to execute. Okay. Now if a child has nutritional or medical issues, how do you handle that? Uh, the parent would have to contact the school's nurse give them documentation of this, this child's nutritional need or allergy or whatever it may be. Then they relay the information to us and we put it into our register system so that every time the child comes through the line, when their name comes up, it comes up with an alert. The child's allergic to chicken or a child can't have this or can't have that. So we keep track of it, make sure they don't get the wrong food. That's correct. Thank you very much. Thank you. So once again, your local Aramark team just wants to take this opportunity to say thank you and thank this district for the partnership and our ability to provide this service to the students. We take a lot of pride in what we do. We love what we do. We're very passionate about what we do. Our model here is very, very simple. This, this is, is what, what we, we do. do.